Sean Bean always dies in the end, or does he? I've crunched the numbers to reveal the shocking truth behind the Sean Bean cinematic mortality meme. I made spreadsheets and everything for this. And the numbers don't lie! Or do they? Having run the math through several formulas, there is a 39% chance Sean Bean dies in the end. That figure, however, deserves a deeper dive and explanation because it comes with a lot of caveats. Sean Bean has died a total of 35 times since his debut in 1984. As I write this, it's 2024, so that's exactly 40 years of dying on screen. That's one on-screen death every 1.14 years. What a wonderful array of deaths dirty work it is too. I guess, run the Sean Bean montage of death. Sped up for brevity's sake. He's been shot 11 times, stabbed a fair few, hung just as many as that, and my personal favourite has to be Death by Cow. Digging further into the details here, he's died 12 times in TV shows and made 4 TV movies, which I'm not counting for the purposes of this video. Seeing as counting all of his TV credits and movies really does bring down the percentage chance, just counting movie deaths was easier for me because as someone commented on my last video, I'm lazy and don't do my research and I'm intellectually dishonest, which is a uh, shockingly accurate description really, but less about me and more about Sean Bean dying. Removing anything made for TV leaves us with 23 deaths and 59 credits to his name by my count. Thus giving us our headline 39% chance of the Sean Bean movie demise. The things are a little bit more complicated even than that, because some of these deaths happen off screen and on the should count. He's presumed dead three times, presumed shot in Age of Heroes, presumed frozen to death in Far North, and presumed exploded in Knights of the Zodiac. Getting rid of these leaves us with a 34% chance Sean Bean definitely kicks the bucket in any movie you watch him in. He also has a confirmed off-screen death in Dark River, reducing this further to 32%. Adding to the above issues is that in Silent Hill Revelation, he dies in a dream and actually survives the film, which again, I don't think counts. Final Fantasy XV is a CGI animated movie, so again, doesn't really count in my book. Reducing our number of on-screen movie deaths to 17 and giving us a final definitive percentage chance of seeing a Sean Bean on-screen movie demise at 29%. Ah, there's yet another complication, however, because at some point around 2011, Sean started to say no to Daiyi.
Not that he hasn't died since 2011, he's actually died five times since then, having appeared in 20 movies, giving a chance he'll eat it of 25%. However, one of those is off screen and one is a dream, so that brings the chance of death paying an on screen visit down to 15%. This all means if you are watching a pre 2012 bean flick, there's actually a 46% chance he will meet his maker by the credits end. But even that figure isn't above 50%. So where exactly does the meme come from? Well, I think I have an answer for that too. Sean's career of death can be split into three distinct periods. Pre-2000, 2000 to 2011 and post-2011. We've already covered the post-2011 period where there's a 15% chance of seeing Sean bite it. So, let's look at his earlier career first. Between 1984 and 1999, he appeared in 16 movies, of which he survived 10, for a chance of a Sean Bean death scene at 38%. The period between the years 2000 and 2011, however, is where he appeared in his best-known films, and, well, he dies a lot in these making 21 appearances on screen and ending up 6 feet under in a remarkable 12 of them for a 57% chance of Sean Bean catastrophe. Hell, between 2000 and 2002 he did 5 movies and didn't make the end in 4 of them, only managing to survive in Tom and Thomas, a British family film I've never heard of. So I think that's exactly where the meme comes from, at one point in time the chances were Everything you saw in Sean Beanie, he probably died. So obviously he doesn't die in everything he's in, and whether he even has a chance of doing so or not, hugely depends on when the movie came out. It did get me thinking though, who exactly is the most killed actor in Hollywood, and thankfully for me, the independent newspaper in the UK beat me to this thought, and made a handy top 10 list for me to shamelessly reproduce here for you right now. You might notice, Sean doesn't even make the top 10, with Danny Trejo being the master of the on-screen demise with a frankly ludicrous 65 deaths way back in 2020, which he's almost certainly added to by now. I'm just way too lazy to check. Thanks for watching, like or dislike as you please, and if you did enjoy it and want to see more, comment and subscribe. This video was a little bit of a nightmare to put together because, God, the internet is so full of bullshit, which I, I believed and then wrote a whole script and started recording the video and then whilst editing the video together, realized that my sources for this video were bullshit. Uh, so don't trust everything you believe on the internet, including this video. Goodbye.